What's up Xiaomi fans, this is Christian and today I'm going to show you what's inside the box of the Mi Smart Sensor Set and I'm going to show you how to pair it as well so just a brief background of this, this one is actually will set uh, automation or you can set up a smart home so if you're looking for a smart home setup, this video is for you Alright guys, so this is the Mi Smart Sensor Set, uh, this is uh, the, the outer box, comes with all the standards and markings and all that. So we're just gonna go ahead and open it. There's still another hard box uh, inside, so I'm just gonna open this. Alright, so, uh, so what you can see inside, uh, it, it plays out nicely, you can see the Mi Motion Sensor, uh, two of them and uh, the Mi Control Hub, the Mi Window and Door Sensor, two of that as well, and also the Mi Wireless Switch. Okay, let's explore it one by one. Uh, yeah, this is the main hub. It's actually a two-pin plug. It has this button there. A very minimalist design, a very Xiaomi design actually. And uh, Mi Motion Sensor. And uh, we have the Mi window and the door sensor, so it goes with a pair, one small one and one big one. There's some magnetic feel on that, and uh, this is the adhesive tape uh, behind it. Uh, plus the Mi wireless switch, so it also comes with an adhesive tape behind it. It's ready to uh, paste it. Now we're ready to pair. Alright, so once you plug it in, you have to press the button for around 5 seconds until you see the yellow light. And after that, you have to open the Mi Home app. Uh, for those of you who don't have the Mi Home app yet, you can actually follow the link in the description below and see how to install and set up the Mi Home app. Alright, so we're gonna open the Mi Home app now. Alright, you have to go and add device. Okay, so you can either add manually or you can actually do the, the scanning and you have to select your device. And uh, make sure your phone is actually connected to 2.4 GHz. And now we're gonna type in the password. And for setting up iOS and, uh, and Android, they're actually a bit different. So, okay, so password's done, so we're gonna head on next. Alright, so we're gonna wait for it to connect approximately around two minutes. And again, make sure your, uh, your phone and your hub is actually a good distance to uh, your router. Okay, so, we're just gonna wait for it to connect. So once it's connected, uh, it will actually turn off, I mean the light is going to stop blinking. Now we're just going to wait for it though. Connecting. Please wait. Wi-Fi connected successfully. Okay, so it's done. Alright, so in this space you can actually rename the app, uh, rename the, the device and you can actually select which location you want to put into just for you to remember easily. Okay, so we're just going to finish all the setup. Okay, so you're going to agree to that. Alright, so this is the main page for the for the Mi Smart Sensor Set. So we're gonna try to see if uh, it's able to sync. Uh, I think there's a bit of delay on my uh, Mi Home app recording and the... Yep, so you can change the light as well. Uh, you, you can use this as a bedside lamp. Uh, you can change it to multiple colors or you can go to presets. Uh, there are a few presets and the colors itself. Um, you can also change the the brightness. And so yeah, the, like I mentioned, the preset on on the app itself.
Okay, so we're gonna check up on something else. Okay, this is where we add some more of our devices. Okay, so th there's a bit of our device over there. Alright, so for us to see if it's all connected, you can just uh, do a refresh. Automatically, it will add in your devices. If it doesn't show up here, you can just add it manually. Okay, so we're going back to the hub. Alright, so this is the list of the devices that we're having. So uh, we're just gonna go ahead and maybe test the audio. Yeah, so we can actually set uh, some of the uh, some some of it. Maybe do a doorbell uh, sound and all that. Uh, I'm just gonna check some of the settings here. So there's a lot of things you can actually do uh, on this hub itself. So automation is one of them. Uh, we'll be exploring a bit on that later. Let's try, let's try some of the sound. So you can use this as a uh, doorbell, or you can use it as an alarm sensor, or you can use this as a panic button. Uh, there's a lot of things you can do for this uh, for this hub itself because they have its own speaker and the light itself. Uh, you can also set an alarm with this, so you don't have to use your phone for the alarm. Uh, goes to this uh, to this hub. So automation, you can you can add more automation to this if you have more. Um, me devices in your home. You can set up connect to maybe air purifier. Uh, if you have the um, smart lights, uh, me desk lamps, and all that, you can also uh, do it as well. Okay, so this is the me motion sensor. So as I mentioned earlier, if it doesn't pair, you can actually press on the re this reset button to repair. Uh, for the effectivity detection area, I have included on the description below, so you can check that out. And uh, we have the Mi Wireless Switch. So Mi Wireless Switch, it will automatically uh, set up or it auto automatically connects to your hub. It has a wide variety of functions such as doorbell ringing and uh, one button to turn on or off or alert modes. So you know, act as a switch, you can press on that button over there. It also has a status indicator behind and reset uh, hold also on the, on the back panel. Alright, so we have the Mi window and door sensor which detects the state of the door and windows through the distance uh, between the sensor unit and, and, and the magnet. So you can actually pair it with some of the Mi smart devices like the Mi air purifier. You can also add in the Mi temperature and humidity sensor and uh, also uh, you can uh, set more automation if you have um, like one of these uh, the Mi LED light bulb which comes in different colors as well so it's one of the good things that you can add in to your Mi smart sensor set so for this uh, you know, for this bulb is actually on Wi-Fi as well uh, it, it connects to an E27 socket and uh, you can add it to your automation So that's all for today, thank you for watching.